um i'm realizing something that kind of just came full circle today so like your worth your actual worth is set in stone it doesn't fluctuate it doesn't magically change um it's not something that you have to earn or prove um and even when people believe that they're worth something they're worth a certain amount or whatever or they think that if they make certain choices that their worth will change or they'll become more worthy when they look a certain way or they have a certain thing or whatever it's like it's like it's a game it's just like something we do to entertain ourselves because if your worth is fixed in place no matter what it is the same constantly with no change it gets really boring um there's no you can't do anything about it it just is so like look at how big the fucking human brain is look how many neurons we have in our brain look how complex it is we're always thinking we all we've got fucking we just got to do something all the time what would what did humans do we are so fucking bored because our value and our worth it just it just is there's nothing to do about it so we want to play mind games with ourselves damn it's raining now i can go for a walk it's not gonna be as hot so humans got bored and we decide to play mind games with ourselves and with others and start saying now like like i start laughing at the beauty community because like i see i see some videos online of girls who are like doing everything possible to their appearance like Honestly, I want to do it too because it seems fun. It seems entertaining. Like, doing lash perms on yourself. Now we think that, like, our value is going to go up, like, 10 points because we we, uh, curled our eyelashes. And now we're not going to be... We think that that will change our worth. Oh, if we dye our hair a certain color or we get a certain haircut, finally we will... We will be worthy or men think that like if i have this job title now i drive this car i'm gonna be worthy now it's like we're just like playing games with ourselves we're just playing with dress up we're like we're driving it's like the same stuff we did as toddlers and kids it's becoming kind of funny to me like girls would play dress up when we were kids and boys would play with toy cars and now we're so intelligent and clever because our brains are so big and complex that but we're also really stupid we're just doing the same shit we did as a child and trying to make it an adult version of it and then we think that like this will make us important when really we're just doing it to entertain ourselves nothing you do matters unless it matters to you like i think we're just keeping ourselves busy with all this stuff that we do to try to prove ourselves also because if you just sat with yourself and were in tune with your value your innate value you'd also have to come to terms with your innate vulnerability and your innate dependence as a human (sighs) and i 
I think at a certain point, everyone will kind of tap out when it comes to that. I don't think anybody is capable of truly sitting with themselves and sitting with their full value and their full existence and feeling all of it. Because then you'd also have to feel all the pain and the trauma and the unbearable, like... Uh, conditions of your existence and how just like it's everything it's all there so we at a certain point will all kind of tap out of how much of our um, vulnerability and neediness um, and all that that we can handle so like value and worth is dependent on need and if we really sat with ourselves we would realize that everything is needed and everything is completely necessary and just due to the laws of the universe that if something wasn't needed then it wouldn't exist if something wasn't necessary or someone wasn't necessary so that it could lead to grand scale balance and equilibrium in the universe then it wouldn't be here or it would be placed somewhere else um <sighs> it's it's a uh, It's like synchronistic that, god damn. It's synchronistic that as soon as I start talking, it starts like pouring down rain. (sighs) I can't see shit. And I just got done with a therapy session. Um, I'm starting to think that like all the little stuff that we do to like try to make ourselves more important or more worthy or like we embellish ourselves with like certain jewelry we wear or our clothes or uh, traits in our personality that we develop because we want to be special or like it's all... None of it is going to make you more worthy. None of it is going to make you more valuable. It's all just, in the end, it's all just for fun. It's all just because humans are pleasure-driven creatures. Um, And we're just kind of like embellishing. I can't see a fucking thing. We're just embellishing over what already is and what already exists and what always will be true. Um, I think we just have a constant need for stimulation. We have a constant need for something to grab our attention and stimulate us and to... Uh, feed these massive brains that we have and our five senses and um, all this stuff. Like if you look at animals, um, the less intelligent an in, in animal species is, the less the less it is the less it does it just kind of is <sighs> I'm thinking about also how come all of the animals that are like food animals that are like they're so valued by humans because of the meat that they they give like pigs and cows and stuff 
animals who know that they're going to be enjoyed throughout their life and they serve a specific purpose they seem so relaxed like pigs just lay there all day and cows just kind of like eat grass and just just it seems like And I think of everything that I'm going to be doing. Like suddenly I want to like get into jewelry making again. And I want to like change my style. And um, I'm interested in makeup and stuff again. It's not going to change my value. It's not going to change anything about me. It's just for fun. It's because I feel understimulated and desperate for some kind of art or self-expression or some kind of like thought process I'll go through when doing that it's not going to make me more worthy honestly it's because I'm bored and I've been looking at the same hair that I have all the time for years Um, in the same outfits I wear all the time for years. But I think when it veers into, like, girls want to wear makeup or dress a certain way because we think it will make us more worthy, um, or it will change our value, or women who can't stand to sit by themselves, or women who can't stand to be naked, or, like, not have makeup, or not have anything on, and kind of just, like, be when it's about insecurity I think really what people are seeking is validation and we get worth and our innate value confused with validation and attention so like I think in one of the ways that I feel like everyone gets misguided at some point in their life where we think that the value of something or the value of us depends on how much attention we are receiving so if we're not receiving attention for a certain thing or a certain attribute we have about ourselves or a certain hobby we have whatever it is that we think it's not valuable it's like it goes i think it traces back to very infantile needs that we have as an infant and as a toddler or anyone who's just in a very vulnerable position, if you didn't get attention from your caregivers and you didn't grab their attention in some way, then you die because you can't take care of yourself. It doesn't mean that you're any less valuable when you're quiet. Um, But I think that when people want to do things that are like attention grabbing and all that stuff, it's just like a, a cry for... like their survival and we get it mixed up and we think that (sighs) we think the most worthwhile things that we could be doing are stuff that will get us validation and attention um, and that the aspects of ourselves that are more quiet and don't really call a lot of attention to ourselves we think that those are less valuable Um, I don't even know what triggered me to start thinking about this. I just started thinking about it like a few minutes ago. Yeah.